Okay, so far, as near as I can tell, this, this home was built with two water heaters, has three. Has three. This is the west water heater located in the garage. Another water heater was a little four gallon that was added to a kitchenette. But we're talking about the west water heater. And this is it, it's a gas water heater. We have our sediment trap here, okay. Automa uh, electronic ignition, so we won't be able to, to look inside of there. Um, I do not test temperature pressure relief valves, okay. I do not manually test them because of the sediments in the, uh, that could be in the water. Uh, I cannot see the entire length of the, um, I cannot see the entire length of the piping, so there could be a leak in the water and the wall that I would not be able to tell. But we're gonna, we're just kinda gonna go, go with that. A word from our sponsor, Mr. Risk, calls me quite often, wants me to include him and to all of my videos, sometimes several. I apologize for the crass commercialism, but okay. Water heater, 50 gallons. Manufactured in 2018. That means that this water heater is five years old. These water heaters, like the small electric water heater I commented on earlier, I don't know where it's gonna fit exactly in the report. I think earlier, because it has other plumbing uh, things to take into consideration, so it kind of moves up. This is specialized, this is gonna be related to the water heater. We have a carriage use manual, like that little one didn't have. It's five years old, and as you already know, water heaters last about 10. They last about 10 years. Doesn't mean that it's gonna give it up on its 10th birthday. Doesn't mean that it'll make it to its ninth birthday. But at 10, so this, this water heater is about middle age. It's about middle age. And we'll just kind of work our way up here. There he is, I told you sometimes in multiple times. Isn't that crazy? Man, you think anybody's gonna do anything about that? You think our spam calls are gonna get fixed? Hold your breath, hold your breath. So we have a 50 gallon, five year old gas water heater with a sediment trap and instructions, okay? This is our exhaust flue that's coming up and we see that it's on the, let me look, let me look a little better. Bud wants to know, okay, that's fine. And see these little silver nipples, those are our dielectric unions and our pipes are insulated like they're supposed to be. And we have a valve over here, right? Right, okay, there's our valve, our main shutoff valve for the water heater so we can service it. See the little wire hanging off of there? Okay, well it's not really little, okay? But that is our electric bonding for our electric system. Back to the water heater. Okay, so that's insulated. Our vent pipe, is not supposed to be sealed with tape. It's supposed to be sealed mechanically. It should clip together. It should, you shouldn't have to put tape on that. Tape is a deficiency. Tape is a deficiency. So, coming on up. This is our, that is our combustible air vent. You see all the dust on that? And that air comes in and it feeds the water heater. Okay, the flames. And we're gonna expect to see, and I can't see it. Doesn't mean it's not behind it. All right. Now you get a light show. Advertisements and a light show. It's a variety program, okay? I am not seeing any makeup air in this closet. I don't know, I cannot, I cannot determine how this water heater gets the makeup air. You see, you're burning air okay so that means it's getting depleted when you have a closet like this it's supposed to the air is supposed to be made up for and oh <laughs> the blind inspector right there on the same door air intake and makeup air okay never mind let's just keep going now the temperature pressure relief valve i'm glad that they insulated the piping but there's no reason to insulate the piping the valve itself is supposed to be insulated. And you see the position of the valve, the valve that I'm not testing? I couldn't test it if I wanted to. Look at that. If it's supposed to pop, it's next to the wall. It won't pop. It, it just essentially bypasses this or uh, causes an ins 
you know, obsolete. And, you know, in order to scare you properly, if without a temperature pressure relief valve or operational one, this is a hot water bomb. That's the only thing that keeps this from being a bomb. This is a, a hot water bomb that delivers hot water to the house. And this can't work. So this is, actually this is dangerous. Okay? This isn't necessary. You should insulate this if you feel it. Hot, hot, hot. You know, you lose a lot of energy here. You're not going to lose any energy here. This is water that you're wasting because you have too much temperature and pressure. Okay, down here, electronic ignition, where he said this. This is our secondary drain pan. Good. Secondary drain pan drain line, not so good. Okay, where's it going to drain? Onto your floor. I get it. The garage goes that way. You're not going to leave your wedding album there or anything like that. So you're probably okay, but it's supposed to drain to the exterior. That's what's supposed to happen. Speaking of what's supposed to happen, you see this drain right here? You're supposed to have an airlock a vapor lock in the same room with the water heater. And you're supposed to have an air gap. We don't have an air gap there. It just drains right to the outside. It drains to the outside. Where? Oh, over here. See this pipe right here? It's supposed to discharge between three and six inches from the ground. It's not supposed to discharge 12 inches from the ground. You got a little dog and he's walking by there and this thing goes out. When the steam blows out of that pipe, it comes out at 200 pounds, at 200 degrees, at 200 pounds of pressure. This is like a steam evacuation. And if you had a child there, or whatever, but that's the reason. This pipe needs to discharge closer to the ground, not up above the ground. That's not where it's supposed to discharge. So what do we learn? We learn we have a five-year-old water heater. We learned that our exhaust fluid is not mechanically fastened. We learned that our TP uh, valve is not properly installed and not properly, which would include insulation. We learned that our TP drain line doesn't have an air gap in it and it discharges too high from the ground around the corner from there. And we learned that our safety pan discharges straight to the garage floor. And that's what we learned. This is good stuff.